Hey everyone, Ross from GrooveTube Academy and today we're going to do the Groove Meal for Beginners uh, campaigns, broadcasts and sequences. I thought I'd do a quick introduction because I'm on my travels again and this is the first time I've been here. Let me see if I can show you outside. We are in the beautiful uh, Buenos Aires in Argentina. Look at that backdrop. It's just going into the uh, summer here now. So we're uh, looking into the 20s um, degrees, uh, into the uh, 70s I suppose, into Fahrenheit and it's absolutely fantastic. I've got an absolute cracking room. Just come off a 13 hour flight but I managed to get a good bit of rest and I've got my setup all ready to go in the background here as you can see. Um, laptop, got all my water, uh, got all my notes, uh, some extra lighting and that's all I need to get going. I'm absolutely <laughs> raring to go and um, I'm going to be cracking on with these videos so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to start uh, up, in it, up in the game with the Groove Mail so that you can get straight into it and start um, building campaigns, sequences, automations, all that good stuff. So here we go. Let's um, get over to the computer and uh, dive straight in. I'll see you in a second. Right, here we are back into the desktop. Let's uh, move myself over here. Oh, this is new. Um, it's got, got a pointer so you can see where my pointer's going. Right, so we're in um, campaigns. So under, uh, so cam when, when you do a campaign, uh, it might be one specific campaign or it might be part of a, a bigger campaign, but it's just it's just the title that we give it um, in any email responder. They usually call them campaigns. Now, the important thing under GrooveMail campaigns is there, there's just a couple of tabs for you to get used to. It. So when you when you click on the broadcast, now just think of this as being one email that will go out to your whole list. So say you just wanted to provide a, an update to your uh, followers and you just wanted to send out one email that would then just go out to however many people you've got on that specific list so remember before we went uh, through the leads tab which had your different lists in there your tags and segments which are dependent on uh, where they've come through your funnel and then now we're talking about when we actually communicate to that audience which is through either broadcasts and sequences so yeah that, this would just be one broadcast here i'll just go in this was just a demo uh, just to show you basically what you'll be faced with so you can see that it says edit campaign here and this is under the broadcast tab you've got info uh, account, communication, message, send and schedule and finish. So you would want to name it, you would want to put a description in. These are just for your own use, uh, save and next, and then you would uh, send by email and soon there'll be an option to send by SMS, which is coming soon. You'll select your sender details, which again will go through under the set the sender tab. You'll go on to communication recipient. So this is where you can basically send to either if they've subscribed to a certain list that you have so let's see we were talking about weekly fitness tips before so we'll just add that in as well and then so i basically got here a tag that's got a gta demo tag they've all subscribed to this list and then if i had any contacts within these lists this is where it would auto populate um the people within this broadcast so we'll do that we'll save the next and then we'll put our message in so the subject the preview so this is just a little snippet of information they get after the subject line and then the main body of uh, content itself uh, save and next and then you've got a, a few options here of send and schedule which is send now schedule for later save as draft which is what i'll do for just now save and next finish um and then that's really it so that's really really simple way of just sending out a, a broadcast email to your list let's go back into campaign and go into sequences now sequences is where it gets um really exciting so <laughs> well it's exciting for me i hope you'll agree but basically i've created a demo sequence here and just say for example they were signing up to a newsletter and i'll just show you what kind of things you can do remember this is just a brief overview of all the different items in groove mail we're going to dig deeper as we go through this series and show you exactly how to use each different application now the sequences are absolutely fantastic so if you think about you've you've got um, a potential lead that's come on to say your landing page they've clicked a button a pop-ups come up um, and they're signing up for an ebook or whatever it may be some fitness tips and they stick 
in their email. Now, what you can do is you can then tag them, put them straight into a list. So we've got tags and lists, and this is what's called a trigger. So the minute the um, GrooveMail sees this trigger has been tripped, basically, or it's been set off by somebody landing with a certain tag or list, it will then start this automation of sequence emails it's sent out. Now, this is great for time saving because look, look what you can do here. So it, it's triggered this event and it's going to start sending out emails. So there's an, a welcome email. Then there's maybe possibly going to be a time delay. And these are all, they can all be changed out. This one's six hours. And then there'll be, you know, things like conditional splits. Don't worry about uh, too much of the jargon at the moment. And I'll explain that when we go into a bit of a deeper dive and we talk about sequences on their own. But depending on what they do up here, you can then send them on different paths uh, down your email sequence. And basically that that's running in the background, all automatic. You're not having to do anything. So the minute they sign up, it's just running off in the background. It's absolutely fantastic. But they can still communicate with you. So if they send you an email back, you can get in your inbox and then communicate back with them. So it's an absolutely great way of doing it. And you can see down the left-hand side here all the different things that you can do within the Sequences tab. But again, I don't want to go too much in depth here because we're just doing a general overview. So that is the campaigns, broadcasts and sequences. Broadcast is just a one-time event um, uh, to your list and sequences can just be multiple. Uh, I've got sequences that run for days, weeks, months, even years. It doesn't really matter. You, you can build it all out depending on um, what, what you're doing with your um, leads and lists. So I hope that was helpful and uh, please give me a like below because the more likes I get that tends to tell me that that's the videos you guys want to see it'd be very helpful for me and as always comment away I'll always reply to you in person I'm away for a, um, a couple of days here as you uh, seen in the intro in Argentina and I'm going to try and rattle out as many videos as I can for you guys um, I appreciate all your comments that are coming in it's uh, I really enjoy doing this and we'll see you in the next video we're going to be covering uh, automations. So look out for that one and we'll uh, speak soon. Cheers everyone. <laughs>